Um, so uh, one of the things that we did as a kid, my mom and I, uh, we'd go to bingo. Uh, we moved from Smithers, BC to Surrey, BC, actually, you know, and our mom, of course, a very social person and very involved in the uh, community in Smithers, BC, the indigenous community. Like, um, she went to the, uh, all of the, all of the community things here at, out at Wetset, Wetset. Uh, and then you move to the city and you don't know anybody, you know? And so we decided to, where do you go? Where do you find indigenous people? Where do you go? Like, where are they, you know? Uh, bingo, that's where they are, right? And so we started going to bingo together, right? And I had an exhibition in, uh, solo exhibition at Urban Shaman Gallery in Winnipeg in 2003 and it was called Stop, Drop and Bingo, you know, uh, and it was about the focus of the exhibition was building community actually, you know, and so in the exhibition here are the two portraits of my mom uh, at different ages. These were, there were four large paintings um, Included in the four were a portrait of uh, Sitting Bull and a portrait of Quanda Parker. Uh, and I had a whole statement about, you know, the Ten Commandments of Bingo and, you know, um, each one of the ex each one of the pieces in the exhibition referred to Bingo. Um, I did a whole bunch of Bingo dabber drawings, actually. Um, it's a long time ago. Um, and here we have a portrait behind me is a portrait of our mom with her uh, brother, uh, Alma Vernon. And she's a young girl here, of course. Uh, and um, the piece is called a portrait, of, a portrait of the Artist's Mother as a Young Bingo Player. Uh, and, you know, it was part of the work of uh, bingo is like honoring the spirit you know, there's a bingo spirit, you know. So I, you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to my uncle by painting his face away. <laughs> but I, you know, I was like, this is his spirit face. That's what I thought, you know. Um, and then the second one here is called, um, My Mother is a Killer of Custer, you know. So, it, and I think, if I remember correctly, the line from the, the line from the artist statement, you know, is you know, also at the time pretending to be a poet kind of thing. Uh, and so the line from the artist statement was, um, every time uh, an indigenous person yells, bingo, they kill Custer. <laughs> and so she's got a real tough fit look, look here, right? And, uh, um, the, uh, in the background is blackboard paint. Uh, and for a lot of years, uh, my work also uh, um, thought about uh, the effect of the residential school, Indian residential school on culture, on indigenous culture, indigenous practice, right? So my thought was that the, you know, to have these powerful figures in front of this blackboard uh, could maybe change our our, our view of those um, photos. And generally you saw the, you see these photos of little indigenous kids like in front of the blackboard, right? Um, and the nun or the priest is there at the, at the front, you know? So I wanted to flip that around, right? So I put our mom in, in front of the blackboard looking out, right? I put sitting bull at the front looking out. You know, um, and then uh, so this photo actually, and our dad just shared this story with us recently. Like when he met her, she was a young woman in Cassiar, BC. Cassiar doesn't exist anymore um, as a place, um, but she was uh, working in the restaurant there, uh, being a server, right? And uh, he said to his friends at the table, who included our uncle Scott, my mom's brother, uh, 
I don't know who that is, but I know I want her to bring me my hamburger. <laughs> so this is actually probably of the same age as when she met our dad. Yeah. 